Come over to our side. We can control this thing. Okay, you really want to go? Steve. I gotta go. That is a scene from the political thriller The Ides of March starring Ryan Gosling and George Clooney. That's just one of the big movies being released this weekend. And Russ Leatherman, Mr. Movie Phone himself, you saw it. Uh, is this something we'd like? I just want to call this, by the way, Hot Men Friday, because gee whiz. <laughs> what, George Clooney, we've okay. got in movies. We've got Ryan Gosling. We've got, okay, Hugh Jackman. But let's talk about this one while I catch my breath. <sighs> yeah, you just relax. I'll talk about the movie a little bit, okay? <laughs> um, and, and you do have Ryan Gosling and, and George Clooney. I'd say this is more of a political drama than it is a thriller. It's called The Ides of March. And, uh, and here's what happens. You have Ryan Gosling, who really plays a campaign manager for a promising presidential candidate, played by George Clooney. But days before the Ohio primary, Gosling comes up with a piece of information on Clooney that could really just completely derail his campaign. Unbelievable cast, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Paul Giamatti, Marissa Tomei, Jeffrey Wright, Evan Rachel Wood. Uh, here's the thing. It is a solid political drama uh, with an A-plus cast. I mean, these are the best people uh, at the top of their game. It's one of those movies where at the end, you kind of go, wait, is it over? A little bit. Oh. But I would say... It yeah, it's kind of what? All right, but but I would say it's solid. I would say it's a good grown-up movie for you and your husband or boyfriend or whatever. So it's worth checking out. We're, We're in. We like the odds of March. <laughs> All right, Mr. Movie. Whatever. Phone. Let's talk about Real Steel. Hugh Jackman. This one's about like fighting robots. What in the world? It is about fighting robots. It's it's in an, an age in the future where people don't fight in the ring anymore. Robots fight, and Hugh Jackman plays an ex-fighter who uh, really has become a promoter now and has a, a bad relationship with his son. So those two get together. They build a robot together while also being able to build a relationship. And and so here's the thing with this movie. It is kind of corny. It's a little bit dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but I will also say it's a knockout compared to, say, Transformers. So if you were a parent who took your 13 or 14-year-old son to see Transformers and just hated yourself afterwards, this is a movie that you'll take them to, and, and you'll probably have a good time at the same time. Plus, it does have the hunky Hugh Jackman, and it is hunky dude friday is that what we decided something like that? <laughs> hunky dude friday sounds good enough to me good enough reason to see a movie whether it's uh what did you call it again you said it called it corny or something uh, oh, the like real that. steel the real yeah, steel. It's, oh, yeah. It's, hun it's hunky man friday that's all we need to know mr movie phone thank you and for the robots too have a great week